beautiful city of Boston, Massachusetts. There it is. Uh, I am about to hop on a flight heading to Kansas City. Uh, another trip for you guys. I'm excited to bring you guys to Kansas City. Uh, heading out, uh, I'm going to go shoot uh, an interview with Jamal Charles, running back of the Kansas City Chiefs. So I'm heading out there uh, with Finish Line. Um, they're doing like a uh, Puma commercial. Uh, I think they're doing like a commercial shoot, kind of like the Julio Jones thing. So Jamal Charles is going to be out there. So I'm about to hop on a flight and head out to Kansas City. Never been to Kansas City. Maybe I'll get a Royals hat while I'm out there. I don't know. Uh, but I'm excited. Excited to bring you guys some cool stuff. But first things first, I gotta get a coffee. Let's get this day going. <laughs> That's right, home of the 2013 World Series champions, baby. Although, um, Bruins lost last night, which stunk. But, they, and they I mean, they were the best team in hockey, and they just couldn't pull it out. Hey, a squid. Um, so, how about, what do you guys think about these things? Although, this one's not moving right now. I feel like it's like a sneaky, like, doesn't really do much. Like, people think, like, they're moving faster, but I, I, I out walk anyone outside of these. Like, when you're walking out here, I, I smoke people. They think they're like going faster. Nah, this is this lane's way faster. Whenever I get up, go on these, I always get stuck in there. I'm trying to move move around people. It's a trap. All right, guys. So they have Black Two Splenda at the airport. How sweet is that? Mm. Oh wait, yeah, it tastes pretty fresh today. Well, there's a few little coffee grains in the bottom, but it's all right. I gotta get my energy for the day. Guys, we're in Kansas City. Uh, this is uh, apparently it's the city of fountains, but I don't see any fountains. I saw some black cows, which is cool, but I didn't know it was the city of fountains. Interesting. Um, it's cool here too. It's not. I thought it'd be a little warmer, but um, city of fountains. I'm gonna go search for them. I don't know. And those black cows were awesome. Got a little Starbucks for a little pick me up. Uh, gonna go meet up um, with Nick and Caitlin from Finish Line. Uh, I'm gonna go find them and see see what's out here. So this is the uh, city of fountains, is it? City of fountains. City of fountain. Yeah. Is that what they call it, the city of fountains? Mm. No. No. Oh, I thought I saw that somewhere. Yeah. In the airport, I thought it said city of, of fountains. Huh. Yeah. What is the slogan of Missouri? What's their nickname? Got a green pasture. Interesting. Is that a river or a lake? Missouri River. Oh, Missouri River. Yeah, that's what I thought. And it's muddy, right? Right. How come? That way. Oh, okay. Huh. This side, this kind of side is the side of Missouri. Ah, I see. Wow. It's cool looking. Is it Missouri, Kansas? Oh, that's Kansas over there. Yeah. I see. And then Missouri's over that way? Yes. Interesting. Missouri, yeah. And then this is downtown here? It's a downtown Missouri. Great. Cool. It's a downtown Kansas City, Kansas. Oh, right? so close. Yeah. Wow. Oh. It's Kansas City, Kansas, small downtown. Small downtown, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Awesome. All right, guys, we're at the hotel. Check out that chandelier over there. Very nice. Very nice place here. This is a great hotel. Look at this. Get some lights over there. All right, halls. I'm, I'm nervous to do a hallway run because it's quiet. Whoa, look at like the little things. All right. <laughs> it was a, here we are. It was a short one. Short hallway run. <laughs> Let's check in. All right, here we go. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Nice rooms. Woo! Look at this. I like the decor. Look at that bed. Wow, this is great. Let's check. Let's check the view. Wow. 
Whoa. All right. Not much of a view, but that's okay. I like the the over the, the ambiance in here is great. We got a Samsung TV. Nice wooden things. You gotta check the bathroom, guys. Gotta check the bathroom. Oh wow. Sliding door. Yeah, I like that. Woo! Alright, we're the lights. Whoa! I like this bathroom. Look at that toilet. That's a nice toilet. Oh ho ho. Very, very modern. I like this hotel. The shower is enormous. You guys wanna come in? Oh, for you guys wanna see what I'm wearing? Puma Tropicalias. Um, wow. Very nice granite. This is a solid bathroom. This is a 9 out of a 10. Obviously no TV in the mirror. One day. One day. But, whoo. I like it. Ooh, look at the floors. Black hardwood floor. That's sweet. Alright, I gotta charge my phone and then I'm gonna go meet up with uh, Nick and Caitlin and get going. Alright, on the mean streets of Kansas City. That's oh, nice. It's so quiet. It's nice. Very, uh... Clouds look like fake hair, it's awesome, but green dress. <laughs> Although I'm pointing out things that exist everywhere, I'm like, look, a tree, how cool. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, back in the room. i uh, looking for Sports Center, ESPN. I don't know, it's tough to find right now. No guide. Um, checking up, uh, I just read, I'm reading some comments because I posted two videos, um, but I've had awful uh, reception. But I'm catching up on some of you guys' uh, comments on the latest vlog and uh, unboxing. So thanks for commenting as always. Appreciate it. I'm kind of hungry though. I haven't eaten since earlier. And I don't know. Like I might have to. I never get hotel food. Like mini bar food. But I might have to get these peanuts. Six dollars. Ah, that's. I don't know if I could pay six dollars for like 17 peanuts. Can I? That's risky, but I need something to hold me over before we go get dinner. Um, I don't know. Maybe I could go down to the lobby and see what's down there. Do I really want to pay $6 for like, mm, there might be like 22 peanuts in here. But then again, look how cool the can is. Crap. It's one of those, it's one of the ones where you pull it up, I think it like automatically charges you, so I may have just bought those, I don't know. How long was I shaking it for? Um, all right, I'm gonna go down. Uh, they're doing some uh, editing uh, down in the lobby, so I'm gonna head down to the lobby. All right, guys, so we're down here uh, at the distillery. They're doing a little, uh, what is it, whiskey? A little whiskey tasting. We got a nice little patio out here. And then we got Nick from Finish Line, Caitlin from Finish Line. I gotta ask you guys, I need an official bathroom review of your bathrooms. I, I gave my score already. I need you guys to give a score. Because we all have the same bathroom. Different rooms, but. Yeah, I already scored it when we got here. Okay. I gave it a solid 12. 12? Oh, better than a 10. So it's the best bathroom I've ever been I could fit an air mattress into that shower. So. Nick? I have to give it at least a 10 because it has, this little, it has this little cover over the toilet paper. So you don't even know it's toilet paper, which is like kind of like baller. That's when you know you're in a good bathroom when there's a little metal cover over the toilet paper. Chrome, maybe. Chrome. Chrome See, out toilet paper covers. Yep. I mean, does uh, it get any better? My, my scale, I can never give a bathroom. I, I, my viewers know this. I can give a 10 out of a 10 when there's a TV in the mirror. Because when there's a TV in the mirror, that's what, and I've seen it before, but I hadn't been officially reviewing bathrooms. I'm an, I'm an official bathroom reviewer now, so. so when I was, can we give a pass? Could this be a 9.5? No, oh yeah. Yes. I think yep. it's 9.5. Right yeah. Even when I was in the wind. I haven't seen that yet. When I, I was in the wind, and they had a TV in the bathroom next to the mirror. It was a 9.9 .9 or 9.8. <laughs> but to get the 10 out of 10, it's going to be in the mirror. Yep. You've seen it before, oh, yeah. but yeah. Yep. So, all right. It's pretty crazy. Bathroom reviewing 101. I was too hungry. I, the first time that hotel food has got me. Normally I never do it, but feeling a little hungry. I had to, I had to grab some. They're delicious peanuts, by the way. Wow, peanuts are fantastic. Honey roasted. Glad I did it. I'm enjoying them. I have to stop them. But we're going to get some BBQ. Everyone said Kansas City get some BBQ, so that's what we're going to do. Kansas City barbecue. Here we come. Wait. Absolutely. Let's play. 
All right, we're in the little town here. We, we're calling it New Mexico. It's got a very New Mexico type look. Like you see those little like shingle type things. Uh, it's a cool little quaint town down here though. Um, I like it. We're gonna go find the uh, BBQ joint. But uh, there's all like little condos and houses over there. But it's nice, it's cool. So, all right, BBQ. What's the name of this restaurant? Jack. Jack's Barbecue. Jack's, barbecue. Jack's BBQ. What do you got? Barbecue sandwich. Barbecue sandwich. I just went with with straight up meat. Meat. <laughs> we got what was that? Short ends or burnt ends. Burnt ends. And then I got same thing. Some BBQ meat. It's time to indulge. Yes. That's what I say when I when I eat. Time to indulge. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, guys, back in the room. Um, so yeah, I did some research. This is called the City of Fountains. You guys know I'm a big fountain guy. After. Uh, you know, going to Vegas and all the waterfalls and fountains. We saw, we only saw one fountain though. So I'm gonna look for more fountains, but the Kansas City Royal Stadium has all those fountains. So apparently Kansas City is, is the stadium of uh, fountains, but we had some good Kansas City BBQ food. We've honestly been trying to figure out like what the city is. You know, when like you explain a city to someone, it's got a lot of random stuff in it. Well, where we are, it's just like some cool architecture. It looks like kind of like it's got I don't know, either like a church theme or a Mexican theme. It's it's interesting, so I'm still trying to figure it out. Hey, check out this closet. Got a little closet there, wooden. So, oh, hotel. We're, we're all three of us are like, this hotel is sweet. It's just like in a random little spot. I don't know. It's a it's a good spot. So, not much of a view, but there's the view at nighttime. So, guys, uh, tomorrow. We're heading down to, we're heading to Kansas. Heading to another state. So I get to go to two states in like two days. So uh, we're going to Kansas and we're gonna go, uh, Puma's gonna be there doing a thing with Jamal Charles. And we're gonna go uh, do an interview with him. So I am super pumped for that. So uh, as, a, oh, what's this? Um, what do you call it? Uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia is on. I thought ESPN was on. How did this come on? Um, but anyways, guys, once again, thanks, so, uh, as always, for supporting me and my channel. And just, you know, I really appreciate all the positivity and the encouragement. Uh, it really means a lot. So I'm very grateful for you guys. You know, you put me in this opportunity by supporting me and, and getting my channel to where it is. So thank you, guys. I'll talk to you in the morning, bright and early. I'm going to go get free breakfast downstairs and then head to Kansas and uh, go meet up my buddy Jamal. All right, guys. Take care. Peace. All right, guys. So City of Fountains, what do you think? That cab driver didn't really give me too much information as far as the City of Fountains thing. He was like, no, it's not called that, but supposedly it is, but whatever. Uh, yeah, Kansas City's cool, man. It's, it's, it's nice. Uh, uh, we're going to Kansas for um, the, the shooting of the uh, commercial. So you're going to see uh, that's going to be in Kansas. That vlog should be up um, maybe in a couple of days. I'm still waiting just for, um, there's a few legal issues. Um, we can't, I can't show any of the extras because they're in the Screen Actors Guild. Same goes for the people filming the commercial. They're all uh, in the Screen Actors Guild, so they can't be shown on camera. So I'm going to have to edit some stuff out. Also, Jamal Charles had some Puma product on that hasn't been released. So for legal reasons, I might have to cut some, some of the stuff out. But I want to get the vlog up for you, too. I just don't want it sitting around. So um, I'm still trying to figure out what to do. So I will post the full interview uh, on my sneaker channel when, that's, when we can release that. It may be a few weeks, a month. And then as far as uh, the vlog for day two in Kansas City, um, I think I'll be able to post that. I'm just going to have to edit uh, a lot of the uh, shooting out of the commercial and also the Jamal's uh, Charles part just because of uh, some of the product he was wearing. So uh, bear with me while I kind of edit that up, but I'll eventually get it all out to you guys. So I'll probably post day two vlog in a few days. Um, fighting allergies right now. I don't know what it is. I, I have a full-blown fever. I feel like I'm dying. So if anyone has allergies, tell me what I can do to fix this because <clears throat> as you can hear, my voice just very, ah, my throat kills. I have a fever. These allergies are killing me. I normally don't have allergies either, but. So hope you guys enjoyed day one. Stay tuned for day two. That will be up, like I said, maybe in a day or two. Uh, feel free to hit that thumbs up button, and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Peace.